Dry weather sticking around southeastern Michigan today, but our big weather headline is Hurricane Aaron continuing to churn over portions of the Bahamas heading into the Atlantic east of the eastern seaboard. As of the 5 a.m. advisory earlier this morning, Aaron back to category four strength with maximum sustained winds of 130 miles an hour moving to the northwest at about 13 miles an hour. You can see a very classic satellite image here overnight last night into early on Monday morning, really getting its act together, starting to strengthen. The latest track still keeps it away from the United States over the next couple days, weakening into a category Category three by Wednesday before pulling off to the northeast and continuing to weaken by the time we get to Thursday and into Friday. But you can see here by Thursday morning, not a lot of distance, about three to 400 miles away from the outer banks of North Carolina. Mandatory evacuations now in place for Hatteras County and the outer banks as they will be seeing some flooding and some rip current issues from air. And even though this is not going to be a direct strike as we go into the middle portion of the week. If that isn't enough to talk about, we may have another system on Aaron's heels. Our tropical weather outlook, there's Aaron right there, but we're now watching another wave coming off the African coast all the way back here. But the National Hurricane Center now saying that it could form into a system over the next seven days, giving it a 50% chance of development. We'll keep our eyes on that as we go through the next three to four days.